replicate. Get your Pro Pure with the new Pro One filters today at InfoWarsStore.com or by calling 888-253-3139. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. You've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Skousen. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com. Alex Jones here to tell you about how you can help spread liberty worldwide while also enjoying what I have found to be the best tasting 100% organic coffee on the planet. For more than a decade, my favorite coffee has come from the high mountains of southern Mexico where the Chiapas farmers grow their unique shade-grown Arabica beans. We have now managed to secure these sought-after beans in a highly customized blend. Discover and try a bag of the Patriot Blend 100% organic coffee at InfoWarsLife.com. This coffee gives gives you a long, smooth pick-me-up for hours without the headaches and heartburn that so many other coffees give me personally. Hands down, this is my favorite coffee, and it's taken us years to secure connections directly to the Chiapas Mexican farmers. Drop by the site today, order a bag or two, and I don't think you're going to be disappointed. Available in original or with our immune support infusion blend, you will be supporting a free press, all the while enjoying a truly great-tasting cup of my favorite coffee. Available at InfoWarsLife.com. Coast to coast, direct from Austin. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Crashing through the lies and disinformation, it's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. Patriots do, who love freedom, love the real American system, when you're faced with a total criminal takeover where they're openly changing the laws, which you can have a law saying black people aren't humans, again, it doesn't mean the law is lawful or constitutional. You can have a law saying you can you know, line up all the people in Nazi Germany you want to and shoot them. Doesn't mean it's legal or lawful. I mean, what do you do at a certain point if America is all lost? Do you just leave the nation? As most wealthy people have already done in the last decade? People part of the system have been leaving or getting a redoubt in another country. A lot of them, Eastern Europe. A lot of elites are moving to places like Transylvania, Romania. This is real, folks. Most of the big companies on Wall Street have 100 to 1 price earnings ratios. They're total frauds, total bubble. And they've built the bubble and prepared the bubble to implode everything into it, saying, give us everything when the bubble goes down or it'll be even worse. And then they conquer us through economic fraud, not through military takeover. But then if you get uppity and don't like the takeover, well, then a paramilitary comes after you. But most people have jobs in the system. It's already that way, but it's really going to be like that soon. Well, hey, don't get in the way of the system. That's the only job we got. This is how they've enslaved us. This is how they've domesticated us. My dog is totally dependent on me to feed it. 
And that's fine because I love him and take care of him and feed him. But I'm not a dog and you're not a dog. But we've been acting like worse than dogs. I want to play this Bob Barr clip uh, and then go to your calls and then get to some other news. But there is just so much happening right now where our money is being used by all these special interests to build a cage for this country. And it's very, very saddening. Let's go ahead and go to Bob Barr Thursday, six hours before the Dinesh D'Souza filmmaker indictments by Eric Holder. Undoubtedly for interviewing his Obama's estranged brother, undoubtedly for exposing on the Democratic Party race baits, undoubtedly for making a nice, friendly, wholesome film to bring America together. The party of the Ku Klux Klan, the Democrats, is not going to allow that. They killed Martin Luther King because he wouldn't shut up about how the Republicans were good and pass the Civil Rights Act. And they'll do whatever they have to now. They've moved from white racism to minority racism, and that's what they sell. And you're not going to have a minority like Dinesh D'Souza sell unity. And I talked to Bob Barr about how they might blow his airplane up if he gets back into Congress, which he's in the, in the lead right now. He's the type of guy they'll be afraid, you know, if he wins this year, and then he could run for president. I mean, they're scared, folks. If you think Rand Paul's a rock star or Ted Cruz, uh, Bob Barr's even better spoken. He could be presidential. I told him on air and off air, you better watch out. You've got incredible courage. Thursday, and then came the indictments of D'Souza that night. Here it is. Hey, Alex, uh, I was uh, I was with uh, some folks just recently, and I pulled out a, pulled out of a file in my office the uh, the House resolution, the uh, House resolution that I introduced on November fifth of nineteen ninety seven. That was the very first official inquiry of impeachment uh, filed uh, against Bill Clinton. Uh, and that was mine. And at, at the time, I think I had 18 co-sponsors was all in, in November of 1997. And what I did is I took that, uh, took that document. Uh, figuratively uh, kind of dusted it off, uh, added a little bit of language to it, and darned if it doesn't sound pretty good with uh, Barack Obama's name in there. Oh, man. So I think it's safe to say if you get back in Congress, the evidence is already there. You're going to start looking into the uh, inquiry uh, to uh, begin uh, getting the co-sponsors for indicting the president in the House, and I guess he'll be tried in the Senate. I, I think it really has come to that. Now, it's not something I like to say when I left the House before, after the after we impeached uh, Clinton. Uh, you know, my hope was that we would never have to go through that process again. But we do. Mr. President, you are not above the law. You cannot ignore the law. You cannot simply violate sure. the law, violate the Constitution, because from a policy standpoint, you deem it appropriate to do so. We don't operate that way in America, and you are not going to be permitted any longer to do that. Well, listen, we need to get you into Congress. The website, we'll put it up on screen for folks, barcongress.com. Oh, that's good. We need to get him in there. There's 40 minutes of that broken into three parts up on infowars.com. It's red-linked. Obama launches chilling purge against political enemies. D'Souza and Governor McConnell charges part of accelerating crackdown on dissent. And by the way, we had him on Friday. They're, he's going to be back on tomorrow. The head of uh, Project Veritas, the folks that brought down Akron and the rest of them. Uh, it looks like the governor of New York is moving to indict them. Uh, they've been indicted before in Louisiana and beaten it, exposing the corruption there. And it looks like uh, the governor, uh, Cuomo, uh, Mr. Gangster, said that last week no conservatives, gun owners, or pro-lifers are welcome in New York. I mean, that's like Nazi Germany. You know, No Jews are welcome in Germany or something. I mean, th th this is hardcore. And now they're going to go after them. I mean, get ready. They'll probably come after me. I'm, I'm telling you, we got to stand with all these people. Uh, they've pled not guilty. They're coming after everyone. O'Keefe called nasty little coward spud by former U.S. attorney. Uh, and that's uh, really hardcore. So they're coming after everybody, folks. I mean, I just I cannot tell you what it's like to know that they can come with guns and badges. These are the people that shipped tens of thousands of guns into Mexico, bragged about it in federal filings, then said they never heard of it. And then the filing CBS got proved it was meant to be blamed on gun owners in America to ban the Second Amendment. They got caught false flagging. That's a false flag attack killing thousands in Mexico, conservatively dozens in the United States. God help us. And listen, the criminals in government are not going to stop. They're going to ruin everything. That's what I got to get through to all you guys. Corruption doesn't just sit in one spot. It either gets better or it gets worse. And I mean, it's going off the edge of a cliff here.
it is a game of chicken that I've stayed in this country. It is a game of chicken that I continue to do this because I don't want them to win. And I'm committed and I'm staying here and I'm not backing down. And I'm not here to intimidate people either and do their work for them. But you got to admit what's going on here. Please, folks, all these glitter bug preachers and these big mega churches are government paid for, 501c3, tax exempt status. They're pushing government line. They're, they're teaching clergy response team, homeland security sermons. The average people have no idea. I mean, this country is so far gone, folks. The government runs the big churches. It's trying to run everything. I mean, I cannot even explain to you how much trouble we're in. But I believe you're not cowards. I believe you'll learn about this and speak out against it yourself. They can't stop us all. But they're gearing up for open war with the American people. Let's jam in a call before we go to break. Chris in Connecticut, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, great to speak with you. Thanks for your intelligence and your inspiration. Uh, you've allowed me to wake up uh, several, a uh, couple dozen people uh, with uh, the insight that you've been able to give us. So I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. I just want to say this before I forget. we got to impeach Obama to protect ourselves. I mean, I think he's, he may go for actual dictator and not leave. I wasn't saying that before. That's what I meant to say, and I apologize for interrupting. I just keep forgetting to say that. It looks like they think they can go for broke, and it looks like the Republicans may give them the power. We've got to begin the impeachment trial in the House. That could bring Obama down, all the corruption coming out. Sorry, go ahead. No, agree completely. I think now is make or break uh, for us and, and for Obama. So I have uh, two quick questions for you, and, and then I'll let you respond to them. One is you had a guest uh, on the show a couple of years ago by the name of Benjamin Fulford, who was talking about this uh, concept of white dragon society, which is supposedly these white hats who are trying to fight the... No, no, he, he works for Forbes. He does get David Rockefeller interviews. He's a real guy. And just because he's hanging out, I'm not saying he's a bad guy, but he's hanging out with the Chinese mafia. Just because our government's a mafia doesn't mean the Russian or the Chinese mafia is good. There's this human trait where just because our system's bad, it doesn't mean the other guys are good either. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, that is part of the concern. It's like, is it one evil taking over the other? I mean, uh, what he puts out every Monday on his website uh, sounds very compelling. But uh, it, again, yeah, is it just some evil? Is it like the two black hats fighting one another as opposed to white hats? With exactly. Their we need to get Fulford on. Guys, get Fulford back on. I don't think he's a bad guy. He does meet with the Japanese and Chinese mafia that run those countries. Uh, and I just, you know, I, I don't, they're just as bad. The thing is, the globalists are here running my life. That's why they're problem number one. I agree. So the last thing I'll, I'll ask you about is, like, before it's news, has uh, put out something about a uh, false flag at the Super Bowl and just want to see what your thoughts they all, are. Yeah, that. that's a very disreputable site, in my opinion. Uh, it just constantly puts out, you know, just... I mean, I can see a meteor is going to kill us next week and get 10 million extra viewers and listeners, but then it would discredit me after that. So I'm not going to sit there and I don't want to be the, you know, like the, you know, the truth tester here where people call me like I'm the food taster and I tell you whether it's good or not. Uh, just figure out the track record for yourself. We'll be right back with more of your phone calls. Stay with us. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Life Fluoride Shield Formula fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Why does the United States spend the largest percentage of GDP in the world on health care? Why do we have the highest cancer rates on the planet, the highest rates of diabetes, autism, and every other major disease? It all comes down to one thing. We are what we eat. Our food is devoid of nutrition and processed with poisons and additives. Our water is filled with toxic poisons and big pharma runoff. All of this has been engineered by design. We can turn the tide against 
against the eugenicist by giving ourselves the nutrients our body desperately needs. To learn more, visit InfoWarsHealth.com. The site is literally packed with audio and video featuring top health professionals who don't bow down to Big Pharma. The fight against the New World Order starts with you, and you can't stand against the machine of your sick, tired, and obese.